us a look now. Wait, hold up. What's up, you guys? The girl Kaya. It's your boy Jayla. All right, you guys. So today we're gonna to be going over one uh, a theory that I recently came across, which is that uh, there's talk that maybe Ty Lee could possibly be an Airbender, or at least a descendant from Airbenders. And so this kind of stems from the last theory that we discussed, which is is Aang really the last Airbender? So if you haven't checked that one out, definitely check that one out because once you see that and you see this, it starts to make sense. But we're just gonna get right into this video, all right? So basically in this theory, they say that Ty Lee is most likely a descendant, or it's, it's a theory. Basically what we think is just the fact that so maybe some airbenders were able to get away during like the whole invasion thing with the Fire Nation. And so we think that they're able to hide themselves amongst, amongst other nations and kind of do it that way because they're already pretty much nomads as it was. So we think that for survival reasons, they were there were some who survived who integrated into different, um, you know, nations and everything like that so basically the discussion is that we, they, people think that Ty Lee is a descendant from those survivors who are able to hide themselves and so um, as we all know uh, Ty Lee like her parents are pretty high ranked in the fire nation and so it's kind of interesting the fact that she had like you know no fire bending abilities but what's interesting about her is the fact that how she looks so one big thing for people was basically genetics and if you put a picture of Ty Lee and Aang together, they look pretty much like the same person. You know what I'm saying? Like the shape of their face, the eye color, the, you know, like even hair her color. hair color is different from everybody else's. Aang's hair is black, but even with her, you see that the difference is, because even when I was watching the show, I was like, she doesn't look like she would be like a firebender. You know what I'm saying? Like she doesn't look like She doesn't that. behave like a firebender either. Yeah, so the main thing was basically genetics and how her and Aang resembled each other so much, and that makes sense. So um, that was one. The next thing was also like the way that she fights and things like that. Like even like, um, I guess the style of like, I mean, like how she you evasiveness know. and elusiveness. Yeah. Sort of like how Aang fights. Aang doesn't really go straight up. He sort of bounces around, mm -hmm. mostly defense as opposed to yeah. offense, which is how Ty Lee. Yeah. And, and with the chi blocking thing too. Yeah, so basically with her, we all know with the airbenders, they weren't like violent people. And so for them, it was more so like, it wasn't to like, with firebenders, they go just like straight forward. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no mercy. With airbenders, they have like a strategic way that they would battle people. It was like, it wasn't like, you know, it was kind of like how Ty Lee is. Like she would never like, you notice if you ever seen her fight, like she was never like super violent. And she was able to use um, her acrobatic skills to kind of, you know, really, it really, I think that's really what helped her in a lot of like battles and stuff and stuff like that is because she had those different type of abilities. And so for a lot of people, they feel like um, with her being so talented in that way and like having those type of abilities where she kind of like, I don't want to say like manipulates air or something like that. That's kind of what people say is like that she kind of manipulates it and she's able to use it to her advantage. And so I agree with that too. Like notice throughout the whole show, you didn't see anybody with her level of skills like in that area. Mm -hmm. uh, and and also uh, with, with the purpose of her using chi blocking. She yeah, never really, she didn't really, she never attempted to really hurt or kill anyone and neither did she hurt or kill anybody really. She mostly just really shut you down, which is sort of yeah. what Aang wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Aang never really wanted to hurt anybody. Right. Just sort of wanted, which is, pro which is the reason he didn't kill uh, why he didn't kill um, Fire, Fire Lord Ozai. Ozai. Yeah, Fire because Lord. he wasn't, he, he didn't have it in him. To, so he sort of, he took away the bending as opposed mm -hmm. to, which is exactly what Ty Lee did in hand-to-hand -hand mm -hmm. combat. She didn't hurt anyone, she just took your bending temporarily, yep. mm -hmm. your ability to move, which is which, yeah. which is very airbender-ish mm -hmm. um, in a lot of ways. Yeah, so like with that, a lot of people were saying like, even like with that type of thing going on with her, like that just adds more proof of the fact that, you know, she could possibly possibly be a descendant. Even though she doesn't necessarily have like airbending like abilities or she doesn't necessarily have that as you know what I'm saying? Like she still has that, you know, in her in that way. And then also if you think about it, even just like her personality. Cause if you think about it, like honestly I never would have thought that air nomads would be like, you know, such funny people and stuff like that. But well, the type of person that she is, she's very like carefree and she's very like positive. You know what I'm saying? Like even just like her personality gives off the vibe of like an airbender. Mm -hmm. Like no. her, like her and Aang kind of 
uh, are similar in that way. So she's like a little bit more, you know. Now another here, aspect but... to look at is that um, fire firebenders don't study chi like that. Right. Um, yeah. That's something that the air that the air nomads really really study. So for her to have a have have an understanding as to where those points are. Mm -hmm and being able to ma manipulate with the chi blocking and things like that. I don't think that's something that you learn in the Fire Nation. It's really not something that I think probably closest to another place, another that you would learn is maybe like it be the water. Water, that's probably something that they would know, but I don't really see any other um, bending forms or cultures that would study chi like yeah. airbenders do. So that had to be something that maybe she learned from her parents or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it had to be something that probably was passed down mm -hmm. with her family because if you think about it, you don't see anybody else doing that. Like when she first did that, they are like, whoa, what the heck is this? Like they had never seen anything mm -hmm. like that before. And so you would think, where would she be able to find that at? Like how has she been able to learn that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know she ain't learning in the circus. So it's just kind of like, mm -hmm. where was she able to find that? So I'm thinking it's probably something that her family had in their, in their like, you know, in their line or whatever mm -hmm. that they probably had. And then I think some of somebody was saying was also her sisters and how they all resemble each other. So she wasn't the only one with like the certain like genetics and everything that looked like she would have been like, you know, airbender. Mm -hmm. And so like a lot of people were saying that too, it's just that it had to be like, and that somebody, they had to have been like descendants mm -hmm. because of the way that they look. I, de I definitely when I it made sense when I heard it it wasn't something where it was like another one of those theories where it's like mm -hmm. but that was one of the ones that makes a lot of sense I, I kind of like that theory yeah. I think that it would be a cool thing for them to answer if that's actually something yeah. that's the cool thing about avatars that they do so many things um, they really do a lot with it like, it's, it, that, don't that's, realize like it, that's it's very good. very deep yeah. like I, I like you don't you see it for sort of face value mm -hmm but don't really see all the Easter eggs that might have been put in there. Yeah. And they still haven't revealed them yet. I wonder if they realize how many Easter eggs they put in there. I don't even think they realize. They probably I don't see even, I think they did a lot like, of this stuff by accident. It was yeah. like, yeah, we can go with that. Yeah. <laughs> So a lot of people with a lot of these theories, and we're going to be going over a lot of these theories in future videos because I, I, there's a lot out there. And so I really just want to go through them and really just see all the theories out there. It's crazy because like, like he said, like in, in that show, there's so many things you could do with it, so many things that you can take from it. And so it's just kind of like, it's amazing in that way. And so this theory I thought was really interesting because Ty Lee, like she's so different from everybody else, especially in the Fire Nation. And so it's interesting that people were able to kind of just like draw that you know, and kind of come up with that whole theory. I think I think that would be a solid theory, honestly. Mm -hmm. I really do. And so, um, I know people are saying that even though she doesn't have like the spiritual aspect of like being an airbender, like as far as like the actual abilities, they feel like as far as genetics, yes, she most likely most likely could have been a descendant from, you know, airbenders. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, I don't see if you're separated from the air nomads for how many, a hundred generations. Yeah. So what's that? A, I mean, a hundred years. So that's what, like two or three generations. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and you're practicing in secret. I don't know how you would keep the spiritual aspect of it going, especially yeah. when you're as high ranked as they are. Mm -hmm. So clearly they got pretty integrated. So mm -hmm. I'm not sure that, that I'm pretty sure that anybody in that situation would really lose that aspect of that culture, I guess. Oh yes, yeah, I completely agree. Yeah, with that. so I, I don't really. If, if, if that was somebody's rebuttal, I, it's really a grain of salt rebuttal because it's like, yeah, it's like yeah. you're in the Fire Nation. <laughs> you're literally in the middle of the Fire Nation. The ones that just killed that. The whole, <laughs> the whole. So, but pr pretty much majority of your people. But I'm yeah. gonna be sitting there meditating for somebody yeah. to just walk in. Like they would have wow. had to change their ways for mm -hmm. sure. But yeah. seeing how that's part of going what going into hiding means. Yeah, and seeing how <laughs> seeing how she is, I'm guessing maybe her they couldn't have been that violent because of the type of person she is. So I think there had to be like a peaceful aspect to her family mm -hmm. and to why she turned out the way that she did. Mm -hmm. That's what my guess is. I'm not sure, but I think that probably would play like a bigger part in like basically making this the theory valid. It's the fact that it's actually knowing like kind of how her family is. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's no way she could be like that if. You know, mm -hmm. if her family's like, well, maybe she could, but like, I feel like it probably has something to do with her family too. So yeah, definitely make sure you check out the other videos because I did do a video on uh, some news with the live action on Netflix, basically how they're trying to add more adult content to Avatar. So if you haven't seen that, check it out and definitely tell us your thoughts on the whole situation as well. Because a lot of people out there that aren't happy with it, there might be people out there that's going to be okay with the changes that they're going to be making or possibly making. 
so definitely tell us what you think i also did another video um of uh i guess uh avatar last airbender uh couples that just make sense so if you have your ships out there that you really like and that you're really into I'm, i just went through a couple of them i was supposed to have him in a video he was kind of mad but i was looking forward to doing that video with him but i didn't want to bother him Zuko but, and, and Katara should have been a couple. Yes, that's my biggest one. If you check that out, that's the that's the couple I feel like is no is number one for sure. If honestly. Toph was older, Toph and Sokka, but sadly, yeah, I don't see that. Sokka's happening. just so what is like Sokka like eighteen? Toph is like what twelve? I think Sokka was like sixteen at the beginning of the show, so he's probably no. He was at, by the end of the show, he was probably like. Yeah, he was older than Katara. Katara he was, was like older 14. than Katara by a bit, and then like two years, and then he. No, was, he was older than her by like three. I think it's two. because because if you look at like the age difference, I mean it's like two or three years. Maybe. Two or three. From years. when you look at it, like when they're little, it's look like maybe like two or three years. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, if you have it, and speaking of Ty Lee, uh, I did I definitely matched her with somebody in there. So see who I matched her up with, you guys. I it, honestly I haven't seen that one. That's just when I kind of like. This is like, dang, that would be a good couple. So if you haven't seen that, go and check it out too. There's a lot of good ships on there. There are also some really weird ones that was just like, what? That makes no sense. But if you guys want to see it, definitely check it out. But uh, yeah. That's Shakur have been the next Avatar. Ooh. Not Kora, uh, Katara, <laughs> Katara. Was Katara supposed to be the next Avatar? That's a good one. We're going to be going, going over that one next week. She would have been way better than Korra. Oh, absolutely. She's basically Korra, but a G. How many times has how, how many times has Katara true. gotten in a one on one? Look, look, look at Aang, right? She's she's pretty impulsive. You you look at Aang, yeah, and you look at Katara and Aang, and a lot of his one on one matchups he lost. Mm -hmm. And Katara, a majority of her one on one matchups, she won. I mean, that's true. I mean, I feel like she, she beat be Paku. Yeah, that's yeah. Katara is actually pretty dope actually yeah I, I honestly think Katara is definitely she's a powerful bender do I think she's more powerful than Korra absolutely absolutely I think I think I think, I think prime Katara versus prime Korra yeah. Katara can get the dub in that yeah I, I truly I truly believe that mm -hmm. I think if you look at if you look at any characters that could go one-on-one -on -one with the avatar Katara and Iroh are two that can go one-on-one -on -one with an avatar and put up a really good fight and possibly win Oh, we're going we're gonna to continue this uh, conversation, definitely. We're going to continue this conversation. So tune in for next week because we're definitely going to be going over this topic. We're going to be going, we're gonna be going over some other theories too. It's going to be really fun. I'm really excited about it. So definitely make sure you subscribe and, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, definitely stay up to date with what we have going on here on the channel. And we'll see you guys next week. Deuces. Bye.